Nobody likes saying, you know, seeing, what? I don't know. The message appeared for two seconds and then. I'm not that fast reader like that. I'm just starting to get to get the hell out of here. Try getting sleepy. It has been in the sun all day, you know. It's energizing at the at the first time, you know, you come home like you still wanna clean the house and everything and I did actually got to sleep. I think um the most I have slept in the past couple of weeks. No, I had another day like that, like three days ago also, because I was walking and walking in the sun. I don't know, because I finally crashed from, oh my knee. Can't believe it. On my little surgery, I mean, it was atroscopic surgery. That's what it was. It was atroscopic surgery. But they say, still, if you have surgery, it turned into arthritis. So all that people getting knee surgery, how does that shit work? I mean, I wanna, I wanna know. How does that shit work, you know, you just, um, Because this atroscopic surgery was um, like 20 years ago. Well, I thought I was going to go for a walk later on. I'm going to walk home. Mm. Beautiful. I swear the weather said it was gonna be cloudy all day. But they always lying, lying, lying. This is so crap. Oh. I don't want to feel like taking that jug. I already have like a hundred in the house. Fill out with water. <laughs> because you never know when they're going to be like saying, the Russians poison our water. Mm-hmm. It was the Russians. I mean, it's been poison or water. That's why I feel like sometimes it's better to collect the water and drink it like a few weeks later. Just put some rocks in the water. And then you have mineral water. Oh, wow, my knees are like... I still have nine more months of this. No, I hope not. I mean, it gotta get better. My surgery gotta get better. I know. Everybody tell me, yeah, you won't even get a break until a year after the surgery. And it's just like, just very uncomfortable. I don't know. I mean, like right now, it's just like, I try to sit down as much as I can, but, and I have to get up. <laughs> like, oh, no. It's too much. We take it for granted being able to sit down.
and do nothing. It's just like, yeah, I just want to sit down on the bar. And I just start feeling the scars hurting. I so want to get into that water right now. <sighs> But at least I've been twice at the beach, you know, and it was nice. I stayed late. I ended up staying until like seven. I got home very late. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take some money out because I need to buy some let us no, do that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try to. Was that poster gate? I'll try to not take out the money from the bank. And I like it. I like it that way. But otherwise, you buy some shit, and as soon as you break the bill, you break the bill, it's gone. Yeah, they've been having their sprinklers so nice. And I see other ones that it come out like a total mist, you know. This one is very nice too. Just being here just feel amazing. It's, I was going to say get a chair, you know, but I can't sit down too long. Oh my God, this is amazing. The breeze. Oh my god, let's see this. Look at this. <gasps> oh, it was a wind. I don't know. Yeah, it is wind. To get in the camera <laughs> completely. <gasps> it's all flying this way. Oh, we feel so good. Oh my god. It's such a fine mist. I wonder how much these things are, you know? <laughs> Because it's like, if you want to buy one for your house, I mean, it, I bought it like a shower head. Well, it's like kind of like really nice. I bought it in Costco on sale for like $20. Really nice. Got like six molds, but you don't have like one. You should have one mold just like that. And it's so, you know, it's flying on now this way. Let me go this way now. Because it's me. They're watching, watching their cars. Ooh, ooh, getting soaked. Getting soaked. Oh my god. How does it make such a fine mist like that? Where is it? It's like it just depends on the wind, I guess. It come and go. You gotta be chasing the mist. Gorillas in the mist. <laughs> I know, right? The mind will tell you things. Come on, where is? Oh, here it is. Ooh. I died and went to heaven already. He's still washing his car. <laughs> oh my god, my hair is wet. Just with a fine mist. So nice. Oh wow. Gotta go. Gotta be a grown up. I gotta be a grown up. <laughs> oh my god, the sidewalk. Look at the sidewalk. <gasps> oh, it's the car. The car moved <laughs> and it splashed me. Come on. This guy's like. 
And they get excited with nothing. They get excited with nothing, I'm telling you. I mean, these bitches are professional prostitutes. You know. I'm whatever. I'm gonna bite my tongue. I'm gonna bite my tongue. My tongue, 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 tongue. I'm gonna go this way. Step. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be nice and quiet right now. Just gotta go see the ladies' room is open, and I'm going right back home. I think, such as unless I get a second wind. But, yeah, I want to go to Allerton. Should I go to Allerton? Oh my god. I have so many hair bands. <laughs> I want to sell them one day. I don't know if they're going to last enough to go to Mexico. Because some of them are very like expensive ones. This one is like it's all right. Can you see the other one? Good morning to you too. Gorgeous. I want to have a pozole. I want to eat a pozole, but then. Come on, I think I'm gonna do it. Fuck it, because no, I don't know. And I wonder how much it is right now. The small pozole was like eight dollars. It was eight dollars. So I used to go there with like two dollar tip. And this restaurant over there by Allerton, they, they give you chips, they give you three different salsas. Delicious, red, green, and, uh, and like a guajillo, you know, the dark red. Oh my gosh, I give you tons of onions and radishes to garnish everything. Like, oh my God, this is like... And then since this is small, then you don't feel guilty. It's a small pozole. It's just enough. It is just enough, a small pozole. And they give you in a clay plate. But, uh, I don't know. I need to save money. That's what I need to do. But then again, it's like I haven't really gone out eating in a long time. I told this Salvatorian girl, I like, told her, well, let's go to this restaurant, because I see this restaurant in Jackson Heights. That seemed to be very interesting. I know, I was, every time I walk by, it's a lot of people. So, oh my gosh, just look at how slow I'm walking. here or here where they see you they they start driving faster I already know New York City I found that store to sell bagels. That's another thing I can do if I don't feel like walking. Whatever, I can sneak in the Ford train and get off right there in Burnside. And I don't have to walk. <laughs> right. 
take the bus, sneak in the bus, and then sneak in the train. This is my park. My park, I bought it. <laughs> I haven't been feeling like going back there. You know, since I found this park is nobody this year. And I really don't see nobody in that park. Like, this is nice, but it don't got tables. And the one over there by Monroe College was like, well, the tables are filthy and tons of maggots. It's like they pass by and give you a dirty look. It's like, bitch, it's like, I'm going to fix your face. Come over here. I don't need that shit. But at least they're working out. They're, I think they walk around the park. And in their sports gear. Well, they're always wearing sports gear. <laughs> I remember we used to make so much fun of these bitches when that shit started, you know, with the with the track suits, the sweatpants. And, you know, at the beginning it was like, oh my god, everybody is going to the gym or came from the gym because they got the track suit and like and then it's just like every day wearing that shit and then never even been to a gym. And that was like in the 70s. I was like... It's like... <laughs> and now it's the same thing. They got the, the leggings, you know, the... And they're like... They got like a mesh, you know to work out. I mean, I don't understand why they have to to have a mesh to work out, you know? <laughs> like, see through the whole side and what. They're expensive. I have looked them up, they're like, whoa. And they wear that every day. Everywhere, every day. Look at all that. People got no water. And over here, you hear that? There's the sparkler, the spark, the sprinkler. Wow. Wow, can you count how many gallons a minute? Look at that. Wow. Let's see if this shit is open, otherwise I'm screwed. Yeah, I haven't been nowhere this year. I haven't been nowhere. I haven't been to Jamaica. I haven't been to Brownsville. Flatbush. Nowhere. Because of my surgery. And also because of the fucked up trains that they... I mean, there's no problem until you get to 96th Street. Okay, these maggots didn't open today. Now, what is it? They're brand new. They're brand new. What do you mean? Repairs. There's not even like two-year-old bathrooms. There was nothing wrong with it. Are you serious? Why didn't you announce it before? Oh, I smell the shit. Oh, wow. They can even do that. And they say, they say, they, they say they build the pyramids of Giza. They say, they say the, the crackers, they build the, the pyramids all over the planet. And they cannot even build a decent bathroom. Which way am I going now? Oh, I want to go in university. I don't want to be over here. I can make it home. I can make it home. I can, because they say if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. <sighs> the men's room too? Yeah, the men's room too. How can somebody need repairs like that? You made it just two years ago. The 
look at shit that you never imagined. That that thing has been forever. Now now they're building. Now they're building. That's a telltale sign that we that we are heading for one of the worst recessions ever. Because they know the only way to protect your money from inflation and recession and whatever, it's real estate. Real estate. They say even Elon Musk he sold uh, all these shares of Tesla to buy land in Hawaii. In Hawaii. He sold all the shares. Not all the shares, I mean, a bunch of shares. They're all buying land, land, land. Properties, properties, building. Wow. So, and we're about to find out if it's true. <laughs> because, it's, I mean, the crackers, they don't pay taxes anyway. So, to them, it's okay. They're not going to be... You know, I remember when in Miami, a lot of people had to leave because they raised the taxes overnight. But not the whites. Not the whites. Because they're like, for them... Taxes are optional. I mean, or they can get a loan with no interest. They can get, um, they can get pretty much anything. You know. Oh, wow. Well. Should I go? Should I stay or should I go? On? I know it's just gonna be now ten dollars plus two dollar tip, twelve dollars. I'm left with eight dollars. So I'm gonna buy. And I need them to put the salmon on sale again. Because I only have one can left. I have bought eight when it was on sale. But now they put it at eight dollars, almost seven something. I'm like. And it's supposed to be this, the best uh, salmon you can buy. It is supposed to be because they say it's the only one that's really wild, supposedly. <clears throat> because, you know, they catch it in Alaska and they immediately put it in the camp, supposedly. So, I don't know. The other thing I can do is just buy a couple pounds of beans. <laughs> and I'm happy with beans. That's why they call us beaners. <laughs> Whatever. I don't mind. Don't mind at all. Oh, wow. These glasses are so weird, but they are very expensive. So that's how you know, the only way you know that you, that you get the most protection from your eyes, for your eyes. I mean, and you can feel it, you can feel it, you know. With the other ones, it's just like dark and that's it. You don't see, I cannot see anything outside with the, with the chips on glasses. I'm like, well, I, I'm always, you know, visually challenged, challenged but with the cheap, uh, sunglasses I don't see anything and with these ones I can see clear everything I lose like a little bit of I see sometimes I can see a little more clear when I take them off but you can see a lot with these ones Ooh. You know how the crackers they make them the biggest so they they don't burn to a crisp. They make them like shh.
do. But the ones that they are bringing now, they're even worse. I mean, like, ugly. I mean, these are the leftovers, whatever they didn't sell in Neiman Marcus. And they didn't sell them, whatever. Then they put them on sale over there. I remember during the lockdown, they had a lot of models, a lot of more choices. Now, it's like the perfumes too. You see like, just like a few little perfumes. Or you see the ones that are really expensive. Meaning like, they're still like $50. So how much they cost in real life? You know, you go like, so how much that should cost in real life? In other part, and like maces, whatever, you know. If that tiny little bottle. And it's all the toilet. It's all the toilet. <laughs> or the toilet, that's what my grandfather used to say. You know, because that's the only thing he wanted always for his birthday. He wanted his his perfume. His perfume, no, men don't want perfume. His cologne. He said, make sure it's not water from the toilet. You know, he says, no water from the toilet. You know, because that's, he understood. He understood the difference. You know, all the toilet and all the parfum. So... Uh, he wanted the, the real thing, the concentrated, so he'd be smelling the whole day. You know, because the other one is just... Uh, 